Hi everyone, you alright? How's how is everybody? I hope everybody's alright. And uh yeah. Um didn't go out today because to be truthful um the town said it wasn't worth me going into the into the town centre at all because there was only B and M uh boots Poundland Wilcar and Superdrug open those shops and you had Pound Crazy on Northgate and Welk and Welcome um, that's what uh, that was open in town. To be truthful, it wasn't. It wasn't really worth me going into town at all. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed in a short while. Um, yeah, so I didn't bother going into town today. Um, I just hope Jennifer had a good day because it was her birthday on Friday, I think it was. Yeah, Friday. A belated happy birthday to you, uh, Jennifer. Um, yeah. The bus services in Black in Blackburn and Blackpool and Preston a lot of them have gone on to a Sunday service now uh, so that um, yeah they've started doing a Sunday service on a lot of the lot, well that's going to be a lot of the companies now because uh they're basically running the services at a loss. Um, it's every half an hour, or was it? Or was it every hour? Yeah, every hour. The the um, stagecoach was running. That was basically a, a Saturday service. Or was it a Sunday? A Sunday service, pardon. And, uh, yeah. We're just just waiting now to see what happens when all this craziness finishes. Um, so, yeah. I've just sat, I'm just sat, sat here at the moment waiting for my machine to update. And uh, I will be putting a, uh, some videos up. Well, I am sorry that uh, I haven't put uh, anything of any that's any good of late. And uh, yeah, so I just hope everybody's all right. I'll tell you something, I'm going to need a bloody haircut when I, at the end of this. Um, we'll see what happens. Phil Ruff and Boats. Yeah, this is an old video. Video. 
few months old. So, yeah, Phil Ruffin did end up buying the Circus Circus uh, at the end of the day. Um, one of the other things I'm going to say is that uh, over there, it's, it, it's, it's going to be, a, in the next few days, it's going to be balmy weather again, silly temperatures. You know, starting from the 60s, going up to about uh, 107, 107 day, we're saying, during the week. Um, yeah. So, so, yeah. Yeah, Phil Ruffin bought uh, Circus Circus. And uh, we'll just see what he does with it. But uh, downtown's going to be, um, you know, it's going to make a difference because the rumours I've been hearing is that a lot of the casino owners down in downtown are going to start doing major alterations to their properties um, because, because um, circus coming down there and... Uh, the people who own the on the D uh, ca casino and hotel, they're basically they've got quite a few they've got quite a few properties downtown which they own, but uh, Circa's going to be a pretty big game changer down there. Um, it's going to have seven hundred and seventy seven rooms. Um. Uh, it does have a significance, does that? Uh, 777 rooms. Why? <laughs> is is it quite... It's, it's quite simple, isn't it? Just think about it a minute. It's quite, um, shall I say, obvious. You know, why seven seven seven? Have you has it clicked with you yet? Seven seven seven's jackpot a jackpot line. If you get seven 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 twenty one you know and that's uh a win. So seven 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 rooms seven hundred and seventy seven rooms is meant to be a winning number. And uh, that might be interesting. Sounds Steve I well is it there is it in their odds or is it in your odds? That's the question. Um it's gonna have a very big it's gonna have a really big massive uh screen and it's gonna have it's going to have about four, swimming, four or five, maybe more swimming pools on a deck, and uh, it's going to it's going to have the biggest sports betting sports book that uh, on the Vegas Strip on the well, in downtown, and uh, yeah, it should be good. Uh, my information on about Resorts World. That's they've started putting up the they started put putting up the screen on one of the towers now, and uh, that goes the, all the way the length of the length from top to bottom. God, Bennett, I want that's going to be one big massive sign is that thing, and the side the side of the the. 
um, side of it is also a screen all the way down the side of it so that's gonna be uh, pretty big um, Steve Wynn's also uh, announced another property Wynn West if he goes through with it or not we shall find out uh, Steve for not leaving Las Vegas is on the is on the uh, is on the is on the uh, doing his blog and just what having to listen to what he has to say. Yeah, and this year ended towards the end of this year. We're gonna have our fir first dirt silver and black game, Raiders game. Uh, UNLV are going to be playing there as well at the Allegiant Stadium, so that's uh, a thing for to be to be looking forward to if you were Vegas Vegas local. But if you were going to stay there, if you're going to uh, holiday there, what I'm going to say to you is, if you can, don't bother with any of the strip hotels. Uh, because they are a lot more, a lot more expensive with the resort fees and other fees and s stuff like that. If you go, if you if you can, uh, go and you're booking a, a holiday to go to Vegas. Go to your travel agent and set said to him, I want to go, I want to go somewhere. Uh, in Vegas, but I don't want to go on it. I don't want to go to a strip hotel. Uh, I want to go somewhere downtown, like uh, the Alcatraz, um, or the Golden Nugget, or the D, or Four Queens, Binions. I don't know if Binions is is a, is a hotel, hotel casino because I think it's, I think Binions shut there. I think Binion shut their uh, cause, uh, hotel, didn't they? I'm not too certain. If anybody knows, leave it in the uh, in the comments below. Um, the Colorado Bell is now gone. Um, all the staff got made, lost the lost the jobs there. There are rumours that the other casinos there might might go the same way, but that's a wait and see situation. But the casinos are due to go back, due to open in from June the first onwards, uh, with their you know with their cleanliness protocols, but but. Where that is, it's outside. It's outside Vegas. It's about. It's quite a way, but um, we'll just have to see what happens there, because that would be uh, a bad situation for that place. And a lot of people are very afraid about them about losing the jobs while well, a lot already have which isn't good so we'll just have to wait how wait and see how it goes so So we'll see what happens um, for those types of people. But one of the things is over here, they don't, they haven't said anything about Blackpool opening. I have started to notice uh, a few of the uh, takeaway takeaway stands. I've decided to open. Um, I did 
I did um I did see I did come across uh, a hot dog stand and burger stand open um doing takeaway um quite a few places are doing just take out no sitting inside um that's one of the things that keeping them open. McDonald's are basically uh, you no sitting drive through only. Burger King over here is the same. Uh, KFC is the same thing. And uh, we'll see what how it all goes. So. I just hope everybody's keeping safe and I'm sorry I didn't do a video, a proper video for you today, uh, Monday, Monday, maybe Tuesday uh, I'll do one and uh, hopefully, hopefully I'm hoping to do a Preston one as well because I really need to find out what they're, what they're doing at uh, St George's. Because um, last time, as I said last time, they were they basically sec sectioned one section off, and uh, they were going to they were going to start building work on it, and uh, I just want I'm gonna find try and find out what they're doing uh, with it, so. I'm going to leave it at that for now and then I'm going to go the 3, 2, 1 click and this uh, will be up uh, very shortly so take care of yourselves, keep safe and this is 3, 2, 1